Okay, the underlying energy that we're working with today, Aquarius, is the moon. That means things are hidden. Um, this is a time to use your intuition. Um, connect with your intuitive side. Um, the moon is is a card for Pisces. Uh, so that speaks of, um, of you know, of connecting with with your higher self, with your intuitive side, with your, uh, with your instincts. Um, but it also shows you what is hidden in the illusions that you see at night because of the very, the, because of the, the illumination of the sun, of the moon. Now, the moon can only show you what, um, it can only show you a limited amount of things. Um, so whatever you see in the dark is, is an illusion. It's not exactly clear. It doesn't make it not real. It does just, it's not clear. It's, I mean, it does, it's not clear. It doesn't mean that, uh, what you see isn't true. It just doesn't mean, it's, it just doesn't mean it's clear. So you have, you know, you have some hidden things. Some things are missing in some, in some ways. Not missing, but there's some hidden stuff when the moon comes up. Okay. Um, also that just means, also the moon means lack of clarity. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and get into the rest of this reading here. All right, the card that we have today is the uh, Ten of Cups. I mean, the, for the week, the problem circumstance is the Ten of Cups. Uh, that means um, an emotional cycle ending happily ever after. This is also the family card, and considering that this is the beginning of a uh, Cancer season, um, I can see this having something to do with you know your your family and. Um, in your love lives, you know. Um, however, it's being crossed by strength. Now, strength is typically your inner power, your inner strength, your inner ability, your spirit ability to go ahead and to conquer anything that you that you need to get done. It's just per, it's perseverance. It's empowerment within yourself. It, it doesn't speak of, you know, literal strength when it could be, but it talks about how you're strong in your spirit and how you're strong within yourself. When this card comes up crossing the Ten of Cups, though, that could speak of you possibly having doubts, having, um, having, um, self doubts, uh, have self, um, self conscious a little bit more. You're just, it's not, it's not strength when it comes up. So you, there seems to be some doubt along the lines, along the lines of, of your happily ever after. Now you may not be confident that you'll ever get it. Or you may be, and you know, you may not experience the strength that you may not feel the strength. You may feel weakness towards the 10 of cups as in it's, it'll make you vulnerable. Um, it might, um, it might not actually happen for you. Um, but this reminds you when you see this card, and especially when it's crossing, it reminds you that you do have the strength. You do have the strength within you. You do have the you do have that ability um, to have your happily ever after. It will come to you. You just have to reconnect with your inner strength. So what is going on right now is just there's a lack there's a lack of confidence towards that happily ever after here. All right. The advice card that we have today, the card, sorry, the crowning energy. I know in the past I had said that the crowning energy is what you want, what you're dealing with, and um, and what to do to get to what you want. We're gonna for now for the foreseeable future to um concentrate on what to do to get what you want. Now for this card, it's talking about the past nostalgia. Why would this come up in your crowning energy? Well. I, f from my higher self speaking to me, it's telling me that perhaps it's time for you to reflect on the past. Use the experiences and the situations that had come up in the past to get you forward. I mean, especially with you having doubts right now, or somebody you have, yeah, you guys are having doubts. With you having doubts about your happily ever after right now, you need to look back and connect with yourself from the past really past um situations give remember remember the strength that you had then remember the happiness is the happiness that you had then and that you can have it again okay so this is definitely the remember card i like to see it okay now 
in the in the past you have the two of cups so you met some pot you probably met someone because the two of cups represents two people coming together um this could mean a connection of some sort it could be a soulmate now this also this is a love life reading so some of you that are single this could mean that you've met somebody that's a soulmate or someone that met is that's a um significant to you um someone that you know that um has that connection to you that isn't romantic it could be platonic um but, but this is definitely somebody that you've met or some sort of connection that you met now if you haven't met anyone um this could be a connection within yourself but i highly doubt i highly doubt this would come up if this was for your for just inner self because it, it would have been just more of the hermit then right so you've met somebody recently you probably may not have noticed them but you've met them um um, and it's in, it just speaks of a connection of some sort. Um, in the present though, there's an offer of love. The Knight of Cups represents, um, his, he's a romantic knight. He's all about what he wants, desires, this is his wants in his hands and he's going after it. Now you see he's riding on a fish. It's not exactly the best kind of transportation, but what he's focusing on is what he wants rather than how he's going to get there. So Basically, it could be somebody that's a Pisces, um, Scorpio, or a Cancer that's coming into your life right now offering you love, or this is somebody that has love intentions or, or romantic or emotional intentions to, um, towards you in a way that it's, you know, to basically express themselves. Um, or you could be seen as the person ready for love, ready to get what they want, ready to have what they want. You guys are feeling loved up. Or you guys are feeling kind of in your emotions right now and you're feeling like you're feeling like you're possibly even more intuitive at this time um but there's there's, there's definitely somebody coming in um with some intentions towards their feelings um it could be like i said it could be you or it could be someone it could be someone uh, your partner already you could be run, somebody could be coming in um or this person in your life could be you know offering some some extension of love or some some emotions. Now, how you see your future is the three of pentacles. That's uh, taking a look into the future. Oh, not taking a look into the future. It's playing for the playing for the future with someone that you're with, um, that you're partnered with. Um, this this is about not just playing for the future. It's about playing together with a group. So in this play, you know, you know, you know, um, dotting your t's and crossing your eyes. Oh no, it's the other way around. <laughs> but um, you're, pay you're paying attention to the practical things. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's it can be more watching out for the emotional stuff, but you're playing for the future with somebody. And that is awesome, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle so we can get a clearer understanding of the cards here. Okay, so the so the um, ten of cups is um, clarified by the eight of cups, which is something that's missing. Uh, so there's there's something missing. Um, there's something missing in your love life, or there is, hmm, or you're gone off on your own to find something that's in, that will bring you to the ten of cups. Okay, there's something that is, um, that needs to be found within the Ten of Cups. And perhaps it could mean inner strength that you need to look for the power and the, the strength within yourself. Wow. Mm, interesting. Uh, the cards that clarify the strength card is death in the moon. So things that are hidden and um intuitiveness and the ending of one phase the death of a phase okay is it it can be a slow and you know change um gradual change um but it literally dies it there's something that dies in the past and it's um but it's all for a good purpose it completely purifies 
um, purify the situation for you to have a better beginning, to experience change from some from purity and a um, and you know to move on. Um, but it's being oh, this is, these are clarifiers. And the strength card, yes, may represent, you know, inner strength, but it's being crossed. So it's not necessarily you feeling strength. It's more of self-doubt. It's possibly this doubt is because you're, this, there's a situation that's ending pretty slowly and pretty um, tragically. It doesn't actually have to be a death. It could mean just, you know, just a situation with someone or something. And it's kind of, you, it, it's dying off. It's, it's, it's in the past and it's, and it's, passing pretty much um it, and you could huh it could mean that it's based off of what's missing the death it could be saying that it's transitioning you from this time of 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 what's hidden to something more illuminative. That's what it could be saying. If the if it was the star, it definitely would be saying that you're going towards new light. But the moon is what's hidden. So perhaps there's some self doubt through this process of change and a time of um, of of things that are hidden. Okay, the six of six of cups. To clarify, that is the knight of cups. The knight of cups, um, basically, like I said before, represents someone that comes in with intentions, with 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 love and or romantic intention, uh, someone that has desire or want, and he's always and he's focusing on it. Like he's not even looking down at the horse; he's looking down at the cup. Or his eyes are actually closed. But the right away deck, he's um, not the right away deck, but the tradition, like the card for what it means, is basically if you're focused on what you want. Uh, the uh, the Nine of Cups again. This could be someone that's a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. That that could be helping you, the, or remember somebody that was in have that has any of these placements to get to where you need to be. Or. Uh, this means to remember a time when there was much love. There's some. There is much more time to be, um, to to know. You know, basically go back to where the times when you knew what you wanted, or perhaps when you were more romantic, or someone in your life was more romantic. Remember those feelings. Um, for the strength, it could mean also. It could also mean confusion. So maybe this is a time not only of self doubt, but there's also some confusion here. That's some. It's just there's some change, but you don't know what's changing, and it's kind of making you feel like what the hell is going on? Like you're not really you're not sure of something. You're not you're not sure of something. Now, oh wow, okay. Uh, the two of cups um, clarifier is the magician. This speaks of um, manifesting. I mean, you have the moon, and then you have the magician. The moon speaks of um, what's hidden, but also speaks about intuitive uh, intuitivity. Um, but the magician talks about magic, and the and the magician. He has the power to do and to conjure anything he wants to because he had prepared himself for whatever he needed to do. He, You see, he has a cup, he has a sword, he has a wand, he has a pentacles there. And he, he's ready to summon or ready to, um, to um, call on uh, whoever or create who, whatever he wants based off of his preparation. It's being able to have that. It's basically the strength card. It's having that ability within yourself to get what you want. It's the it's it's like the self confidence card in a way. It's the self assured card. It's about how it's about being able to conjure up the energy to get what you want. And it seems to me that you perhaps manifested the two of cups. You manifested someone coming into your life. You were ready then, and you had in your mind what you wanted and you manifested it you channeled that energy and you put it into effect you made it happen and you've met someone in the past 
What about the cup, the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups, please. Okay. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so maybe you're feeling more confident in how you how you're um, about yourself. About mm, well, if that was the case, then the the problem wouldn't be confidence. Strength, like crossed, means self doubt, lack of us, uh, lack of self esteem, low confidence in situations. Um, maybe perhaps you're trying to. Um, Offer something to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Offer love to um to Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, or this could mean that there's someone that's very passionate, someone that's very active and so and um charismatic. Um, the celebrity, the person that's really good in the limelight. Uh, they're offering you love, or they're offering you something in regards to feelings. Um. Or they're charging in with uh, with emotional intent. Okay. Huh. Or this could be you guys. Now, you could have a doubt in the situation but still feel confident. You guys could be feeling more confident about how you feel. Hmm. And in the future, you have the Three of Pentacles. So, it's basically the, the Empress. The Empress is... Um, Speaks of manifesting, creating whatever she wants. Now you have two manifestors in this deck. She's the ultimate manifestor. She can give birth to anything she wants. A project, a new job, a new home, a relationship, a child. She can give birth to anything um, that she wants. She is the clear manifest manifestor. Also, she's the mother mother nature of the card. Well, she's the mother of the card of the whole deck. Um, she's a, a very um, nurturing and caring. Um, that is how, that's how she is. She takes care of people as well. Um, but I believe from the magician here in the past and then the empress in the future, I think you guys are going to be manifesting a future with someone. Hmm. You all got some confusing, confusing cards sometimes, I swear. Because the moon and the underlying energy means something isn't clear. And then you have... And then you have the moon for the clarify the strength card. With death there. So there's some change that's causing self-doubt. And you can't really see it or you're confused. Or there's causing some confusing or disillusionment. And that's like this could be what's causing the doubt, the self-doubt here. In, in regards to your relation to this happily ever after, the ending of a cycle. And then the, the Eight of Cups, he's not upset about going after what he's looking for. He's happy to do it. He's ready to do it. He's ready to find the happily ever after. Um, so perhaps what leads you to it is going off there, but what's keeping you from it is having this doubt. The outcome for your real, for your um, love life reading, though, is the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the the outcome for for you guys this week. That's someone that's very grounded, very very good with money and organization. So, um, someone that is. Um, um, very grounded in how they are. You guys will come out of this stronger, more solid in how you are, possibly also in your finances as well, but you guys as in a whole will be much more of a grounded energy. Now, I know that I keep saying you guys when it could be a male as well. I mean, it could mean someone that's outside, I mean, as well. Um, this is a also, this is a unisex um, reading. So, queens... Come up, it could be for male or female. Kings could be male or female. It doesn't matter. It's just too broad to say to be specific. Um, if it was a personal reading, I'd be able to tell. But um, since this is a reading for everybody, I can't get into depth with it. Um, but I always, but I've said in a previous video, um, not of this one, but of some uh, of another sign, that I see the queens as you guys. 
I see the queens as you guys. I see the kings as external factors. And I know I'm not supposed to. It's not, it's not really, I mean, I, there's no right or wrong way to do the tarot. Um, but how I see it and how I feel it is just, and it's not really a feeling, it's more of intuition. It's just, it's more, it feels like it's, it's more towards you guys, the queens. Um, but it could mean that you're, it, the result is meeting somebody that's more grounded, that is, um, in, that's, that's coming into your life that has more, that's more grounding energy, um, that could lead to a happily ever after, but also that not just a happily ever after, but a stable one. Or you could become, um, a pentacles partner even. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to clarify, the three of pentacles is the three of cups. That speaks of support, friendship, community. So you're feeling more grounded, possibly you feeling more grounded based off of your community. Or, um, or you're feeling more grounded because you have a support base. You have friends surrounding you, right? This at the time is a result. Oh wow! Okay, so you guys got two two cards that come out came out for the um from the romance angels. I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry, um, but. <clears throat> You have separation and retreat. Um, time to time apart from your partner is on the horizon for separation and for retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. 